Because I've got a video, I've got a video on my channel of a um, an Aryan Brotherhood gang member murdering another prisoner <laughs> who had refused to beat someone up for the gang, and he doesn't have access to a shank or anything. And bear in mind, this is the, the Maricopa County Jail's security camera. The guard mm -hmm. is supposed to be watching this stop any trouble. So what happens is the prisoner goes back to his cell. Everything seems fine with the gang members. The shot caller, um, what was his name? Van Winkle or something. He, he walks up the stairs, goes in the cell. A fight ensues. And then for 10 minutes, he just starts smashing this guy's head over and over and over into the concrete. And he keeps looking at the guard's camera like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> so the guard stomp responded 10 minutes in, and then he just starts stomping on the guy's head and neck. And, the guards did um, that. No, the, the guard, the, the guy, murderer. Oh, okay. So 20 minutes in, <laughs> the guy's dead. <laughs> God still haven't responded. Jesus Christ. He picks the corpse up, brings it out of the cell, right in front of the camera, like he's trying to show it off. <laughs> Tries to throw it off a balcony. <laughs> it gets stuck in the railing. The guards still don't come. So he just starts <laughs> kicking it and kicking it and kicking it and kicking it. <laughs> and then eventually, and then eventually they come in. He this, claimed it this show. Yeah, because of the smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he started rotting and decomposing. <laughs> this shows how much control the gangs have got over the prisoners versus the guards. The gangs are in complete control. So yeah, it sounds uh, like it. I, I don't know if you know. Kyle did a did two months in a minimum security thing, and and he explained guard motivation. He said the guards really, really cared about the count. Right, that that was their big thing. All the prisoners need to stay in prison. Outside of that, everything was they, they barely gave a fuck. They didn't care too much if prisoners hurt each other. They didn't care too much if that is prisoners needed to be where they were supposed to be during the count. And outside of that, no one cared. Is that your experience at these more intense prisons? Yeah, the guards would um, have prisoners fight on and make bets on who was going to win. And that, that um, race riot situation, the head of the whites um, was this guy called Gravedigger. He was like a cage fighter, six foot something. He had a, like the devil as a puppet master on his chest. And there was a guard who um, just used to love watching him fight. And they'd, he'd have guys like pinned down on the floor and he'd be using his elbows as chisels just one after the other into the person's face until they were just in like a bubbling pool of blood. And the guard, the guard would love it. He would just be watching it. I'd like yeah, to see so that. That's pretty cool. Don't fuck with the count, though. <laughs> fuck with the count, and you are through, man. <laughs> Did the guards ever use the other... Like, So I, um, I used to know a couple of prison guards, and they used the inmates to discipline each other. You know, that people would get raped. And they're laughing as they tell me the stories and clapping to imitate the sound of the rape. And I'm horrified at this, right? Some guy is getting raped and they're thinking it's a funny way to discipline a guy who's been a pain in their ass. It, is that Well, like I said earlier, even guards who have well-meaning intentions within six months, the evil, negative environment, that energy has absorbed them. And they become stone cold at first, but then there becomes this us versus them mentality where, you know, every, both sides are trying to get over on each other. And both sides have got equally insidious uh, senses of humor when it comes to thing, bad things happening to the other side. So, yeah, guards might be like that, but, you know, prisoners equally would um, make jokes about the guards. And if a prisoner intervened in a situation so like say a female guard was getting attacked or something like that um it could go it could go either way you know depending on who the shot caller is if you've intervened on a female guard's side then you're a sellout and you you know you're going to get green lit or you know you're protecting a woman from potentially getting raped to protect you know preventing a sex offense right. depends who the shot caller is who it's would like are you call, for yeah. sex offense or against because you're kind of getting Mixed messages here from some both. of these shot callers. Right, both. Depends who the shot caller is. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Rape and Steve's in charge this week, though, so... <laughs> Here's the... In, in regular life in America, it's pretty uncommon for a policeman to be intimidated by a bad guy, right? You know, out here, they have complete authority, and if they don't, they just bring more and more and more cops until they get complete authority and overwhelm, and then bad guys don't get to push around cops. What about prison? Do prisoners push around guards? Do guards ever feel like they need to get in line? Or they'll, I don't know, hurt their family. Okay, what pushes around people from every profession to do with the police what, and prisons what was that for? Did you and say the wealth courts? Pushes around? What, what, what pushes them around is money. And I'm talking the money from the black market in drugs. By keeping drugs illegal, a black market, they estimate it's almost a trillion dollars a year. So some of that money is going to corrupt prosecutors, going to corrupt um, police going to corrupt judges, going to corrupt guards. And that's what we see happen. Yeah. Oh, so they're not necessarily intimidated that this Aryan Brotherhood could maybe, I don't know, hurt their kid who goes to school or their wife at home. Oh, yeah. They are. Uh, that's the part Brother, of it too. Yeah, they find out where guards live and drink, and they send women to seduce them to bring the drugs in. Oh, so they'll yeah. like they'll get them to cheat or just do something that'll hurt their home life, and then they'll they have find a weakness and they'll exploit it. Yeah, yeah. 